Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron if you're new welcome and if you're a returning member welcome back if you're a new member could you please share like and smash that subscribe button it definitely helps my channel grow and before we get started I'm not a medical doctor I don't make any medical claims this is all based on my own personal journey so please do your homework for us and welcome to week 170 weight loss results and I'm happy to say that I'm down eight pounds for the week I ended up doing an egg fast for a few days and I ran out of eggs and then I just jumped right into a beef and butter fast for the balance of the remainder of the few days and then yesterday uh, Saturday I decided to break my uh, beef and butter fast by having some regular uh, American food I had a few slices of plain pizza and then I had some rich crackers with some Philadelphia cream cheese on the uh, yeah, for a topping for a little bit of a late night snack and I thought maybe I'd gain a lot of weight from it but I you know overall I was down 12 pounds for the uh, beef and butter fast and egg fast and I felt pretty good about it because what it did was it, get, it got rid of all my water weight that I had and typically when you do an egg fast and a beef and butter fat fast you might lose like 8 to 12 pounds but during that time and you're going to gain some of it back so you got to be careful adding carbs back to your uh, plan now, Friday night, yeah, we did the charity. Donna didn't win anything. She had a great crowd, over 200 people. Somebody did win the $3,000 game Friday night. So that starts out at 48 numbers. The $2,000 game is still there in 55 numbers, I think. And, uh, you know, I asked Betty if I could play this coming Friday if she has enough help. So we'll see what happens there. I uh, We were very short-handed Friday night. So, I, you know, we had uh, our workers that play and they were helping me out on the floor Friday night. And... I was kind of like right out straight there and, uh, and the charity tickets came out fine and uh, you know so you know with everything is going good there and so what else did we do fairs 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 we had two fairs Saturday and Friday but we ended up going to two fairs on Saturday and uh, speaking of which we didn't win anything but Friday night when I got home from bingo oh my gosh because I did an early walk that day at the uh, one of our local cemeteries in the town over on Lancaster with my friend Mary and I did a mile walking over there exploring history and then when I went over to uh, the do the bingo Friday night when it, when I got home I did like four miles and three miles less than two hours my my pain was shooting up my left leg so bad and it was it, it was hitting my spinal cord and I was in an awful lot of pain all night Friday night when I got home I slept pretty good but I got up and I was still very exhausted so when we went to the fair Saturday I uh, yeah I uh, was so sore I had to go in the car and said, Donnie, you just deal with it and I'll just stay in the car until you're ready. So, you know, then we went to the other fair and we didn't win anything for the fairs. But, you know, it, it's fun meeting people and seeing people that you hadn't seen in a while. So <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about a little bit about that. So uh, when you do the fairs, right, it was like $5 for 25 chances, you know, and you put the numbers in there respective uh, baskets that you think you might want to win and uh, she asked me what my last name was right so and I said Ron R-O-N and I says P-A-I-N-A-S and I said wait and she started writing it down and she she didn't pick up on it that I was just joking around with her you know paying the name you know A-S-S and she started laughing afterwards so I kind of made her a day my wife even got a good chuckle out of that because she knows I'm a jokester. So, yeah, it was pretty funny. So, anyways, I, I ended up losing about eight pounds for the week total. I feel pretty good today about it. And, uh, you know, going to be doing some more lives all week long. So, be watching for those videos. And uh, I just enjoy helping you guys out. And uh, I'm still trying to work on the game night plan for the... Uh, uh, you know, it, trying to figure it out. It's, it's not hard to figure it out. It's just that when I'm typing my words, it's not let me. It's not taking my words and showing up in the text box. And you know, I, I can't figure it out. I said, so what the heck am I doing wrong? If you, if you guys know, let me know. And uh, so I'll figure it out because I do want to set up a certain game night. I know it's like last night, Saturday night would have been the perfect night for game night. And uh, today's Sunday. I'm filming this out a day ahead of time. So if I post it today, it'll be Sunday. If I don't post it, I may post this on Monday morning. And uh, and that sort of thing. So yeah, so definitely yeah, be watching for that. Be watching for some more lives. And uh, if you watch my previous two videos and some of my lives I did, I received a uh, five hundred dollar uh, donation that somebody gave to me out of the clear blue sky just because they were really nice and they wanted to do something nice for Donna and I. So thank you for that so much. If you if you watch my videos, 
I was talking to Mike, uh, the uh, one of the police officers, Monday uh, Friday night, and he said, "Well, why don't you just pay part of that forward if you don't want to keep all of that?" And I goes, "Well, I don't want to keep all of that. I don't think it's right." So what I'm going to do is, you know, when I go to Dunkin' Donuts and those places, I'm just going to drop a little bit behind me until I feel as if I pay back enough of it until I feel comfortable with that. But thank you so much for that. And, uh, yeah, so what we got going on this week, guys, well, we got Tom Turkey coming up on Thursday. So, again, you know, if you're doing weight loss, just be careful on what you eat. Keep it simple. Uh, you know, we're all going to have a bad week. We already know it. But, you know, not all of us, but, you know, I... I I have what I have every year, guys. I have one or two plates of Thanksgiving turkey, and you know, and then uh, and then I usually have a custard pie, and I usually have a couple of slices of pie from my wife, and then I make a nice turkey soup with the leftover, and we have uh, turkey for a few days, and if there's enough left, I'll even make a turkey pie. I might try making a keto pie for a change, turkey uh, turkey pie, and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's going really good. I feel really good about my uh, everything. Well, again, I think I mentioned that I was in a lot of pain Friday night after I got home. I slept on the heating pad most of the day Saturday after I got home. So Friday afternoon, I called up the doctor because I wanted to know when I was going to get surgery date, if they had anything scheduled for me. And he didn't tell me that, that they did. So my surgery date is going to be January 16th. It'll be in the Worcester area. And then also on the... Uh, 2nd of January, I have to go to Worcester and the uh, connect with the doctor. He's going to do an x-ray and we're going to do a physical and going to make sure everything's okay and we're good to go. If we're good to go, we'll have it out on uh, the 16th and then we'll do the rehab and hopefully I'll be on my merry way. So I'm looking forward to that and w once I get fully healed, I want to go back to work. I, I'm thinking about a temp service somewhere, an overnight shift. That way there we can work around the appointments that we have. And uh, I, I like to work for 12-hour shifts, you know, my Sunday through Thursday and have the weekend off, that sort of thing. But we'll see what happens. I dropped off a uh, file to the studio, that, and because uh, they never accused me of anything, and they, they were just questioning or not whether or not I dropped the battery and might have snapped it off and not said anything. And I, 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 I didn't do that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would have told them if I did. So I really don't want to use this stuff anymore. So going forward, I'm, I'm going to. Um, probably make a bill for one probably around March but that's why I wanted to go back to work and see if I got how, how long I could work how long you maybe work one or two weeks on the overnight shift and just save up for it and just when I got enough money yeah uh, I'm just gonna go for it you know I don't care what this place says where I am what I can make earn what I can earn I already know our rent's gonna go up and uh, you know once we get out of a certain category living here it takes us out of uh, low income and then I'll pay, pay what everybody else pays which for us it'll be around 1400 a month but if that happens, then I'm just going to go back to work because I can't afford that in the car payment as well. If I'm going to pay that much money here, I want to move. So that, you know, we want to move anyways. And, uh, you know, as much as I love our little animal, you know, I'm, I'm going to probably wind up giving him up for adoption at that point because I don't want to take him along with us. He's an, he's an awful lot for us to handle. And uh, he's becoming a nuisance for me and Donner. He's, an, he's a lovable cat, but he gets into everything. I haven't got the time to spend 24-7 with him. And uh, he really needs to be a home, in a home that has a cat that, or a dog that can get to react with him or some older kids because, um, you know, that could pay more attention to him, you know, than, than what Donna and I can. But he's a very healthy cat, you know, so if you think you might want a cat and you live locally, you, you let me know. But, and you know, I don't, and I don't make that request lightly, believe you me, because I do love the little fella, but I, I don't know what, what's going to happen going forward with him. So we're planning on doing a lot of uh, cooking and, uh, oh, if you live locally, to paying the ways forward. And I've been kind of negotiating with that person that does a lot of things on the, uh, for the, her local community. And uh, if you want to catch up with me, just send me an email and say, yeah, Ron, I, I like that idea. I want to be in such and such place and I can meet up with you. And that, that we'll leave it at that, okay? And uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you what I bought. I bought one of these. I mean, yeah, in, in the world of, uh, do a low carb keto, or you know, you should always have one of these. And even if you're not, these are really great. I bought a mini, uh, mini waffle maker, we call it, okay. And I also have a mini dash, which is something similar to that. So, what we have planned for that, guys, we're going to make about 30 or 40 recipes going up on the new channel coming up pretty soon. And uh, we're going to make a lot of chapel recipes. One of the chapel recipes that we're going to make with that is going to make the easy peasy chapel method with the ochre thin cheese by uh, Sargento. And uh, 
we'll make a series of videos with that and show you what you can use the sandwiches for and afterwards they make great hamburger rolls and stuff like that and uh, I saw another YouTuber take uh, some of the flat bit flat bread piece of dough that I usually use that recipe and she took some hot dogs and she she rolled them up on an angle like in logs and did she you know, she did a really great video that I saw that I'd like to try. So I'm going to do that. That'll be another video I'll be watching for. And if I can perfect it, I'll do it. And I'll do one in the oven. I'll have one ready to go. And I'll do one live. And do, do. And I think what we're going to start doing once when I start really cranking out the live videos, we're going to have one already done and, and do one together. That way you won't have to wait for the cooking time. And, uh, yeah, and then we can just talk about it. That way yeah, I won't have to keep moving the camera back and forth because I know that's been very annoying. And, uh, you know, we just leave it at that, but just be remindful that my, you know, my wife lives here and I do get a cat and, you know, he's into everything. And, uh, yeah, so I, I did, uh, you know, my wife and I were working hard to get the, uh, house straightened out for the holidays. I'm going to be taking off all that stuff off my bookcase so she can put up my Christmas stuff around on it. And, uh, we, we lost a lot of that stuff in the, in the flood. So, you know, we bought a lot of that stuff again, but, you know, smaller stuff than what we had before. She lost all the Mickey Mouse globes, and, you know, I feel bad for my wife because that's stuff that she cherished over the years. She's a huge fan of the chipmunks. Remember Alvin and the chipmunks? And she had all those, um, all that stuff that I bought her at CVS over the years and all the different ones that they had out and the ones that played all that music and all that got toasted in the flood, so... You know, you know, I, in the day that all of this went out the door, she was crying because she saw all the totes, and I, you know, there's nothing they could do about it, Donna. At least we didn't lose our life, right? But uh, yeah, so Donna's going to have cataract surgery coming up in December, so pray for that. Two days, I got to take it down to uh, Ganda twice and for that, and. Uh, you know, I get the hip surgery coming up, and I asked Beth, coming up in January, I do want to play bingo this coming Friday if we got enough help, and, uh, you know, again, we didn't win nothing at the fairs, but we're having, we're having a good weight loss week. Uh, I feel like now I'm, I'm, I'm back on track. So we're going to continue with the uh, weight loss program and continue with the live videos. I'm going to try to uh, go live every morning for you guys, and maybe we'll cook up some different breakfasts together and stuff like that, and just talk a little bit. And then, uh, of course, Monday, we got the Festival of Trees starting at the City Hall. I'll be down there taking some video and some photography all week. And I'll be um, doing a live video for you guys Monday. And we'll just talk, talk a little bit down there. And uh, coming up, we have the Stroll event on December 3rd. And uh, the parade, the tree lighting up in downtown. If I can get a good internet, internet connection, I'll set up my mobile camera. It's really cold, so I don't know. I did buy some gloves, but I want that kind of the gloves I really wanted. And uh, so I'm going to stop down to Dick's Sporting Goods store later this week, and I'm going to see if I can about picking up a couple pairs of gloves, and I want to get a Celtics hat. And there's a possibility I might even buy another Bruins jersey or a Bruins jersey. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. And again, we have Thanksgiving coming up. I just want to wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving, and uh, to just try to keep it simple and. Uh, Again, don't worry about what people think about what you eat when you eat it. I, oh, I want to talk about one thing there. Uh, Friday night there, I was mentioned to one of those girls there, the, uh, one of, I think I, I, the relation to them. She uh, had that weight loss surgery, and I was going to tell her about, you know, losing your hair. You know, when you have weight loss surgery, especially in females, you, know, you wind up losing your hair if you're not careful and don't take enough supplements. And she, yeah, she just started losing some of her hair, you know, and, uh, I wanted to just, I didn't want her to freak out about it because the hair will grow back and, you know, you know, and she, you know, once she starts getting all that rid of all that weight, she'll feel 100% better. You know, she'll be able to start doing some walking, doing a lot of things that she never did before, you know, or weren't able to do because of the weight restrictions that she had. So that was a big reason why I wanted to get healthy because I, you know, I'm a videographer and I said, well, if I can't get myself in order, I'm not going to be able to film no more or do things that I like to do. So, but, and, and the other thing about getting my hip out, I'll be able to start going walking again every day. There won't be any more excuse once that's out. So that's, that's what we, we're looking forward to. Now, I don't know what's going on with the school yet right now until I make contact with them again and decide what I want to do going forward. But, um, you know, I may get involved in a certificate program where I don't have to worry about a degree because the degree I would might have to take math and English and all that other junk and I don't feel as if I need to take any of that. But uh, we'll see what they what they say, and if I have to take any of that stuff, and I decide at that point, I might decide that I don't think I give it. I don't want to do this now. But uh, 
that's all that's going on this week again hope you guys have a nice thanksgiving be watching for some live videos and uh love you guys stay safe stay healthy don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, have a great week and thanks for watching